She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Right, so hello, my name is Jay Burrows. I'm making this video because I want you guys to know that it's possible. I want to show you my story and just show you what I did and hopefully it can help you on your journey if you want to have slim and toned arms. So first thing I want to say is this is my first sponsored video. So this is my first ever sponsored video on this channel and it's sponsored by Ana Luisa. So thank you, Ana Luisa. So you guys probably already know that I'm very much a jewelry kind of girl. I feel like jewelry just spices up every outfit. I've seen Ana Luisa on Instagram. I've seen so many Ana Luisa so when they asked me if I wanted to work with them, I was like, um, yeah. So the first things I got was these two necklaces. So there's this one. I absolutely love it. Like it's just so delicate and so feminine. I got the rose kind of pendant because, you know, my name, Jade Rose. But also pearls are supposed to have a natural kind of calming, serenity kind of effect. And you know me, I like that kind of, you know, chill energy. So this necklace has like a kind of romantic, kind of Frenchy vibes. The chain is really beautiful and it has this kind of unique detail and pattern on it. Something I really love, which you know, you don't really think about, is the fact that it has these three separate hoops rather than those chains that have like the multiple hoops all together. Because what happens with me anyway, is that my necklace starts like going round. So the pendant will stay where it is and then the necklace actually goes all the way round and the back with all the little loops comes to the front, which honestly I absolutely hate. This second necklace has a completely different kind of vibe to it. It's more bold. It has such a kind of high-end kind of feel to it. And obviously, because of my name, again, Jade, which is, you know, a green gemstone. And then this pendant is green. I love the texture on the necklace as well. Both the kind of like steps of the gold and also on the green, this kind of vertical kind of pattern going on. It's like these really subtle details that make something really stand out and really unique. And Ana Luisa are really setting the standard for jewelry shopping. No like crazy markup prices that a lot of, you know, brands do. Just trendy, cool stuff. No like overpriced kind of old school jewelry from, you know, the jewelers down the road. And Ana Luisa are having their biggest sale, literally the biggest sale of the year for 20% off. Definitely check out the link in the description box. It's off the entire website. So that's 20% off everything. And again, thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Okay, so this is me before and then this is me now. Obviously you're looking at, you know, the after right now as well. But yeah, this is a picture from my Instagram. So my arms were slightly meatier. Yes. But I never really had like a deep insecurity about them. It didn't really bother me. My biggest insecurity was actually my belly. And actually that's the reason why I wanted to lose weight in the first place, which then led me to losing weight in my arms. I would pinch my fat and kind of just stare at myself in the mirror. My belly fat was literally the last thing I thought of at night and the first thing I thought of when I woke up. And I would tell myself these horrible things and just say negative things about my body because I thought that that was going to make me want to lose weight. And if you're doing any of these things because of your arms, because of your belly, because of your legs, because of any part of your body, stop. That kind of mindset is only going to lead you towards things that are either temporary, don't work, or are going to make you absolutely miserable. I kept failing over and over again when I tried to lose weight because I was in a destructive kind of mindset. Body shaming, fat shaming. When you're looking at yourself and say, I hate my body, I hate my arms, I hate this, you're putting yourself down. You're making yourself feel weaker, sadder, guiltier. And those kind of feelings, it's just gonna chip at your self-worth. And if you don't have self-worth, you're not gonna see yourself as worthy enough to make a change, to improve your life, to improve anything. The moment I started looking at myself and saying, actually, I love my body and I just want to be healthier. I want to improve. I want to do this for my future. So I live a happier life and a healthier life, not just looks. And honestly, when I got into that mindset, that is what really made the change in my life. I enjoyed being healthy. I wanted to be healthy. It wasn't like, oh my God, this is a struggle for me. And yes, obviously changing your habits completely can be difficult, but it's not going to be difficult the way it is if you are in that destructive, mean, horrible mindset. So like I said, the biggest contributor for me losing arm fat was me in general losing weight. You can't pick and choose a certain body part and lose weight only in that body part, unfortunately. You have to lose overall weight. And in order to do that, you have to burn more calories than you take in. So you have to get to the root problem of the food. And the problem is either eating too many high calorie, unhealthy junk foods, or just eating too much. I would try to significantly reduce my sugar and then everything else kind of just portion control, keep an eye on things. 
if you usually order a pizza and you eat what, four or five slices, instead of that, maybe have like two slices and then, you know, make a little stir fried kind of veggie thing on the side so that you can, you know, still feel full. And my main issue actually was trying to keep up with everyone else. I used to tell myself, oh, I don't eat that badly. I mean, all my friends eat this, everyone eats this, I'm gonna eat it as well. But you have to really take responsibility for yourself and your own body. You don't wanna be thinking, why can she eat whatever she wants and has nice slim arms? I saw her eating burgers and pizza and all this on her story, but she looks like this and I look like this and blah, blah, blah. Just because you see someone eating a certain way on their story on tiktok or even in real life it's just one of your friends in real life it doesn't mean they eat that way every day all the time you don't know how much exercise they do you don't know what they're eating when they're away from you you just can't compare yourself to other people and have that kind of why me type mindset plus everyone's body is different like we're gonna all react to certain foods differently than others we're gonna react to certain exercise slightly differently than others some people put on weight in different places so you might be looking at someone saying they have amazingly slim arms and you wish you had slim arms like them, but they might be looking at you and thinking, oh my God, she has such great legs or bum, or oh my God, I wish I had her like head shape. There are so many different things that people look at. Sadly, no one in this world is perfect. As you're kind of like portion controlling and reducing how much high calorie food you eat in general with the junk food, you also wanna do the same things with the healthier foods that are high in calorie as well. Because I mean, I eat avocados every day, but I mean, they have a lot of calories in them. So I might eat half an avocado instead of a whole one. You just gotta be mindful and just a bit, you know, smart with it. If you're someone who just has the tendency to overeat and you just can't, you can't portion control, I know some of us are like that, then you're gonna wanna do substitutes. Like for example, for me, I could never open a packet of Oreos and just have one. I'm gonna have to substitute those Oreos for something that's much healthier and lower calorie. I have a video called The Only Two Diets You'll Ever Need and that video kind of just goes into substitution, gives tips on that, both portion controlling and substitutions. Okay, so I wanna move on and talk about how to actually put a plate of food together. Technically, the main thing about losing weight is calorie, calorie deficit. But different food groups are gonna do different things for your body and you kind of want to keep that in mind when you're eating. And that's specifically if you wanna to have toned arms, not just making your arms smaller, then your protein intake is really important. Protein is the fuel that your body needs to be able to make those muscles. And when I say muscles, I don't mean like, you know, muscle, muscle. I mean like toned, lean arms where your muscle kind of replaces the fat. That is what's gonna give you that slim and toned look. I remember trying to go completely veggie at one point. This is without me knowing anything about food. I pretty much ate carbs after carbs after carbs. And then when I stepped on the scales, I actually lost weight on the scales. But when I looked in the mirror, I was noticeably more flabby, particularly on my arms. Now I know more about food and I actually do eat quite a veggie based diet anyway. I know I can get protein from eggs, beans, cheese, yogurt. There are so many ways you can get protein when you're a vegetarian. So yeah, you definitely wanna prioritize protein and vegetables. When it comes to carbs, I see a lot of people doing, you know, the keto diet and stuff like that. And I'm just like, mm. I don't think that it's sustainable to cut out whole food groups. At this point, you don't have to exercise if you do not want to. But if you want toned arms, as well as protein, you've got to exercise. Bit of protein, bit of exercise equals toned arms. My arms started getting more toned, even with the most simplest things. Literally just walking, being more active, started running and doing step ups, which my goal was to burn calories. But it also helped me to really tone up my arms. And then my arms started getting even more toned when I started incorporating more upper body workouts. So when it comes to workouts, I don't do isolated workouts on one part of my body. I have like a kind of holistic approach when it comes to exercise. So I was just taking what I did before and just finding ways to kind of incorporate my arms more. So when I was doing the step ups i would step up and do you know little punches i'm gonna link actually my stepper in the description box below just in case you want to get one yourself i also like to do kind of like squatless burpees which is an exercise that targets your arms your legs your abs i like these kind of exercises that do a lot all in one for me it's just more efficient and it's more fun i do however like to do like arm extensions and I guess they kind of target your shoulders and your arms and your back as well. For me, I just prefer that subtly kind of toned look to my arms and even to my shoulders. I really like, you know, nice toned shoulders. Definitely try those things out, they work. But if you want to really turn up your arms, 
My suggestion is to take up a sport, take up a hobby. Since I started climbing, oh my God, my arms. Nowadays I do swimming more than climbing, which is another thing that you use quite a lot of your upper body. Great for your arms. And those are kind of my two things. There are obviously other things that you could do, of course, to turn up your arms. There's lifting weights. If you have any more questions about my experience, you can always message me on my Instagram. I'm Miss Jade Rose, so that's M-S. Jade Rose. I want to give another shout out to my amazing sponsor, Anna Luisa. Definitely check out their stuff below. Let me know if you end up ordering any pieces, especially if you order any of the pieces that I have. They have really cute like matching sets as well, so I'm kind of thinking about getting another one. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, like the video, and I will see you in the next video.